Turning now to cybersecurity concerns, the most recent hack on the Colonial Pipeline caused many people to panic buy gas, causing shortages across the East Coast. Even local communities like right here in Oldsmar have been affected by cyber attacks. But hackers aren't just targeting larger entities. You're in danger as well. ABC Action News reporter J.J. Burton spoke with computer experts to find out what you can do to protect yourself. 2019, the most uh, prevalent attack was against hospitals. Horatio Masonette is the president and CEO of Cybersecurity Solutions in Tampa. He says hackers are shifting their attention to us and our home laptops as well as computers. That is because of COVID. Things have gone more remote. And many of us are working from home. We're filing our taxes online, shopping online, and also on social media. Which means that now your information is out in the interweb more accessible for anybody to capture. Unfortunately, according to Horatio, cyber attacks have become so rampant, it's nearly impossible to nail down the number of people impacted. You at home don't have the same mechanisms, thousands of hundreds and thousands of dollars or millions of dollars worth of security equipment. But you can still protect yourself, and it starts with a strong and complex password. Unlike these, which you can find by Googling the top 100 used passwords. If you find yours in there, I would highly recommend you change it. And when creating your password, Horatio says you should never use something personal or information that can be found on your social media pages. He also suggests getting a password manager app. Using like LastPass or 1Password or some of these password vaults that would allow you to use complicated passwords but very easy for you to remember. Also, he says sign up for two-factor authentication for all accounts. If someone tries logging into your account, it'll send a call to your phone and that way you can put that in. And you should have some sort of backup for all important information stored on your computer. In Tampa, J.J. Burton, NBC Action News.